Kenya's Rift Valley boasts a mind-blowing safari landscape, but it's also home to the world's eighth largest producer of geothermal energy. In this special edition of Focus Japan, we look at how Japan is playing a key role in helping Kenya reach its energy goals. The geothermal energy being produced here is essentially a renewable source, derived from the heat of the earth, particularly in volcanically active areas. The Olkaria power plant is a groundbreaking project, a joint initiative involving the Kenya electricity generating company Kengen, Japan and other international partners, and it's delivering results. We have seen fruits of this collaboration in terms of reducing the cost of electricity, in terms of also playing a part in conserving the environment because of the coexistence with the wildlife around uh, Olkaria. Uh, Olkaria 4 is one of the projects that we just completed. When we brought in the 280 megawatts into our system, that power displaced uh, fuel oil generated power and reduced the cost of power by uh, 30%. And 30% for, for consumers is a lot of big margin. Balancing environmental conservation with energy development is one of the main tasks of Olkaria. There are four Olkaria power plants in the heart of Hell's Gate National Park, a park which is rich in wildlife. The total installed geothermal capacity across them is around 514 megawatts. Since 1981, Kengen has drilled 281 wells operated by Kenyan engineers. For the first one year, we are full-time training of our members through the Chaika arrangement so that they are also equipped in terms of the software, in terms of the hands-on operation of these power plants. All our plants are managed and run by the local experts who are Kenyans. The Kenyan government is facing a major challenge when it comes to developing its workforce in different sectors, not just in energy. Japan is lending a hand by diversifying the scope of cooperation with the country. In Nairobi, officials at the Japanese embassy told us about their vision. Various areas have been identified uh, for the areas of cooperation, uh, which, which includes education, health, as well as economic growth, infrastructure, energy, uh, peace and uh, security. Uh, we saw uh, the Kenya, uh, the very appropriate place uh, to host the first ever uh, TICAD conference outside of Japan in African soil. TICAD is the Tokyo International Conference of African Development. It's a hub where Japan promotes Africa's development in different sectors, with a focus on education and community development. For example, behind a massive energy project like Olkaria, there's a community development plan for local tribes. Maasai used to live where Olkaria 4 is now located. Kengen brought in a relocation program, providing new homes and a school for those affected. The new school has more than doubled the number of pupils to over 200, and sometimes the village elder drops by. We're happy about this new school compared to the old one. Here is much better for the children. In the previous school we, done, we had electricity. We used to go to home early at 5 o'clock and here we continue up to 6 or 7. The government's planning to get 70% of Kenyans hooked up to electricity by 2030. And soon Olkaria 5 will be here to help the country meet its ambitious target to light up the future.